Hey everybody, Rose Matter here, and welcome to part 7 of my AI The Somnium Files Let's Play. In the last episode, uh, I went down the Ota path, apparently. I guess the choices that I made in his Somnium uh, determined which route that I took. So, of course, Mayumi, his mother, didn't end up being the killer. We learned a little bit more about her really tragic uh, backstory, Ota, and her kind of like made up and everything seemed good but of course there were still a lot of questions that we haven't answered we still don't know who the killer is and it ended with finding out that so did end up dying in this timeline he got chopped up into pieces with his eye removed just like the previous timeline and then on top of that it turns out that uh renju they found in his stomach was shoko's eyeball so that was an interesting conclusion there. Oh, and also the fact that Iris was the one who took Mayumi's knife. And that's why it ended up at the crime scene. So a lot of questions. So in this one, I'm going to be going back to Ota Somnium and changing things and see, I guess, what timeline I go down. Uh, what is going to change in this timeline? I'm very excited to find out what will change and what answers we might get. So let's get back into this. All right, so this is the one here, I believe. So undiscovered, this chapter has not been reached. So I'm guessing we want to go down that chapter. So let's open up the sink. And uh, let's see, uh, let's see what choices I'm going to make this time and where that's going to lead us. I don't know what that was exactly, but the knowledge you gained might be useful. I did not want to use my local storage space for this. All right, so first things first, gotta go to the icy floor. And what did I do last the time? The ice on the floor is slick. I think I slid last time, so let's, uh, okay. Uh, let's lie down. Hey, there we go. She melted it, sweet. Cowabunga! <laughs> Did my body temperature melt the ice? Iba, how hot are you? Those who don't fight won't survive! There's something in that box he's checking out. I keep saying the polar bear is a he. I don't know that for sure. We don't know who is in that costume. Damn! He's too strong! It sucks! But this is war after all! <sighs> Tessa! May the glory of victory be yours! It's over. I suppose we have no choice but to find the glory of victory. Find. All right, shining light. Escort him to the green shelf, or escort him to the red shelf. Okay, so last time I did one of the plates. Oh, this plate's sparkling. Because I think the plate attached to the shelf. I did the, the first plate last time. Uh, okay, let's try. Uh, I think I breathed on it last time, so let's do that again. Maybe this will unveil something different. B. Okay. I would be happier about D. I'm sure. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, because we want the A for that. All right. What else do we want to do then? Oh, there's one over here. A plate attached to the shelf. The cold has frosted over. Uh, let's breathe on this one and see what happens. D, okay. Don't. D. Yeah, D's don't really do it for me. <laughs> they have to be at least. Half. I thought you just said you wanted a D. There is no. Uh. Oh, back to work. <laughs> there seems to be nothing here. Oh crap! Oh, there's an oil drum though. Oh, that was a lot of wasted time though. Ah! An oil drum, though it is lying down. <laughs> Why does she always want to smell stuff? Uh, let's roll it. 
Maybe I can knock something down? Oh, there's the red shelf over there. Ah, maybe, because he said lead to the red shelf, right? Because before I used the green shelf, I think I used that Tessa, or the A set sign. Acetone? A set. Hey! What, is this? what are the odds? There's the knife. The knife that Iris brought. That we've learned. I Wait, what? Did I fail? Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. I'm like, um, how did I fuck up that badly? That's Tessa! <laughs> Stand your ground! Odamatsushita cowers to no one! Okay, so I th yeah, we're going a different way, it looks like. I have to fight back with something! So that, like, power thing dropped down. The remote control, ah! Or the power board thingy over the there. Remote control. It fell when Ota ran into the shelf. Okay, let's... Oh, 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 oh. No, we don't want to proceed. There we go. Press button. See what happens. <laughs> Just press random buttons until something works. Hmm, nothing is happening. Maybe there's no power. Okay, let's go check out over here then. Oh, we gotta turn on the electricity. Ah, less than two minutes. Oh no, and I still have two more mental locks to do. This is no good. It appears to be a power panel. <laughs> Pray, throw something, jump. Okay, let's throw something and see if we can knock the power on. Is that what we have to do? This is an ice cold one. Iba, aim for the switch. Iba hates his puns, and yet she can't help. Position target in the center <laughs> but use them the too. Switch. Position target in the center and hit the switch. Nice. Okay, I've got like no time now. I gotta figure out what the heck to do. Now it will move. I Ugh. can't stand I'm the forklift, weak. right? Did he really help Iris like that? Regardless of the truth, right now, I am Ota's last hope. I have to help him up. This is annoying. All right, brave hero, true identity revealed. Oh yeah, this is the thing where we have to like, give him a pep talk, right? Oh God, I've got no time. I have to make the right choice here or Ota it's all done. Frightened. He cannot stand. Uh, let's motivate. Don't be scared. Stand up. Don't beg for it. Earn it. Do it, and you'll be rewarded. The ghost inside me whispered. That's right. I can't be scared now. I have to stand up. Now, count up your sins. Okay, so this time, Ota actually is doing something instead before where I moved the, um... What, did he do something at the end? I just remember that I moved Maybe the forklift. This. But this is completely different either way. So now we're, is this like what actually ended up happening? This is how he how he did it. Oh! Oh! Oh damn! Oh, that would hurt. Surprised that they didn't just bleed out and die right there. They managed to get away bleeding. This definitely feels like a more satisfying ending than the last one. All right, who's in the... Come on, you're going to pull it off. Who's in there? Who's in there? Who's in there? Dota, you hit the limit. Time's oh, of course. I can almost make out their face. Of course. She doesn't want it. She it. doesn't want us to know who it is. Boss! Oh, and then that's the. Yeah. 
Why, boss? So you want me to investigate, you want me to do the sinks, but at the same time, of course, like, right as I'm about to learn who it is. You're shutting it down. Like, come on, this is so frustrating. I want to know what the heck boss has to do with this. Oof, down to the wire, that one. What were you thinking? You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. I had to, I had 30 seconds left. You saw. Any longer and you risk getting your mind completely taken over by the subject. I know. No, you clearly don't. This isn't just about you, Date. If your consciousness erodes inside of Somnium, you put the subject in danger as well. All right, boss. You seem like you care about our well-being, but I feel like there's more to it than that. If I may... Fortunately, there were no abnormalities detected in the brainwaves after the sink. Date and Ota both read normal, although the timing was really close. I still had time. We had enough time for him to pull off that, uh, that head. What was I supposed to do? You saw it, boss. You too, Pewter. I was about to see the culprit's face. Not necessarily. We need to verify that Ota did, in fact, see the culprit's face. Yeah, I guess that's true, where it's like it could just be someone that he knows. If it's a uh, Somnium, it's a dream. That's the only way it could have ended up in his Somnium. Well, Ota? Huh? You saw the killer's face at the warehouse, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see their face. If I did, I would have told you guys mm, already. Damn it, okay. You see? I mean, I did try to get a look at them when the polar bear fell over they look like they were knocked out so i tried to grab the head part but as soon as i did i got stabbed in my gut that is what we witnessed in his somnium yeah ah still mad we'll offer an apology you're still on I thin ice it was dangerous to sink past the boss I still don't know what to think about you. That was my fault, and I'm sorry. Are you really sorry? Yes. Then you owe me some Dom P at my favorite club in Kabuki Cho. Or you can lick my shoes. Oh, damn. Okay. Either or. <laughs> Boss. Her and Date have some interesting uh, tastes in things. I vowed to never apologize for anything ever again. I'm sure there'd be a lot of guys who would pay to lick her shoes. It's all right. As I mentioned earlier, both your brainwaves are normal. However, I'm sure there was some overload. You should go home and get some rest. All right, let's talk to Ota about the hook in the polar bear's leg. Ota, let me ask you something. When you were fighting the polar bear back at the warehouse, so there was the blood. There was the blood stain that we assumed was Ota's, but uh, if that actually happened, where's the blood stain from the polar bear? Did the crane hook get stuck on the polar bear's leg? Now that you mention it, maybe it did. Like, all this information he did not tell us. Maybe? It's like I told you, I don't really remember much. With all the tension and excitement and fear and adrenaline, my mind just went blank. But now that we're talking about it, I remember. Yeah, no doubt about it. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. So we just gotta and look for somebody who's got like a got wicked out. gash. Date, I checked all of the hospitals in the metropolitan area. None have a record of a patient admitted after 3 a.m. Unless it's somebody who could have, like, a secret a doctor or something. Somebody who's rich enough, like, maybe a certain politician, perhaps? Someone who would have, like, a, you know, a group of people that could take care of him or her. I say him. I keep assuming it's a guy, but... If what I saw in Somnium is how it happened in real life, that was a deep wound. He definitely would have needed first aid. Perhaps a friend or accomplice helped them. You think there are multiple killers? Of course there might be. That is not what I said. They may have helped the culprit, but not necessarily been involved in the crimes. 
I relayed the information to Boss and Pewter. All right, how are you feeling? I've been better. I'm still a little drowsy. What about your stab wound? My what? Oh, oh, it hurts. It started acting up suddenly. Uh huh. Is this so he doesn't want to? He doesn't have to answer any questions. It's because you grabbed me and forced me to come here, Date. Don't blame me. That was boss. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> I love her. This. Moi. <laughs> come on. Or how about this? Oh, now he's got leverage over me. Get me one of the straws Tessa used, uh. and I won't sue you. Ew. I see Ota is back to his healthy self. Guess so. All right, why were you hiding the knife in your room? Well, that we know. It's because it's because his mom. Because I was scared. Scared? The killer could come here to finish the job. Except that knife looks completely different. Yeah, I've said it before. That does not... that Like, now that I've seen the actual knife, the even the knife handle is like a light color. Did he know that Iris took... Yeah, that's a completely different knife. So, hmm. So it's not like he was covering up for his mom because that was her knife. But you didn't get a good look at their face, right? But they don't know that. I had it prepared just in case. You know what I'm talking about, right, Date? Preparing in advance in case you might need it. Like making sure your room is nice and clean before you go to a party. Oh, sorry. You probably don't have any experience with that. Oh, you're one to talk. I have more experience than you. <laughs> so we know that the culprit has a deep wound on their left leg. That information could be crucial in catching them. Date, get out there. Look for people with an injured left leg. How exactly? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Can't you just go ask around or something? <laughs> Boss, you go do it if you're so sure. Are you serious? Let me just lift up everybody's pant legs, be like, let me just check. Hold on. Do you on. know how many people live in this city? Oh, now I'm getting a little foggy, it looks like. What? Date, what is the matter? Date! Are you all right? It's like, he's like, <laughs> as soon as he realized he'd have to, like, be a beat cop, he's just like, oh, God, I'm all of a sudden very tired. I can't possibly do it. All right, I'm back at home now. Probably still have to face Mizuki's wrath. Maybe she'll be a little bit easier on me since I'm, like, not well. <sighs> hey, this is... Oh, you're alive. Mizuki? What happened? You drank too much at the club and passed out. <laughs> Liar. I remember everything until I collapsed in the control room. You did something dangerous during the sink last night, didn't you? Your brain got overloaded and you passed out. That's what Pewter and Boss said. She's worried about me. He you won't admit it. They brought you over. They said to let you sleep it off because you were tired from the investigation. Hey, will she, uh, can I, I want to, will she say that thing about the computer again? A PC. Ah, oh, she won't about like, you watch weird videos. You're watching like cuck holding videos or something? <laughs> All right, did Boston Peter say anything? Oh, Date's brain is rotting away. He won't last long now. You should probably prepare for a funeral soon. So they told you I'm completely fine, huh? Hmm, I detect no noticeable damage to your brain. You should not have any issue continuing the investigation. He's like, damn it, I just wanted to sleep. All right, don't you have school? I'm off today. Why? Today is Tuesday. You should have school. You really can be an insensitive jerk, can't yeah, you? Yeah, it's like, uh, her parents both just died? They, She probably is going to have some time off. Taking the day off for morning. Right? <laughs> I see. Where is Ota? He probably went back to the hospital. Boss told Mizuki about Ota being synced. And about what happened at the cold storage warehouse. 
Why did she tell her all that? Mizuki was asking about the status of the investigation. The girl has lost both her parents. I am sure Boss felt that she deserved to know. <laughs> he's like stupid Boss being all like caring and stuff. Meanwhile, he's just like completely forgot her parents are both dead and be like, you should be at school. No, she really shouldn't right now. All right. Anything else, Mizuki? Time to get back to the investigation. She's gonna want to come. Will you take me with you? Uh, of course. I told you yesterday, Mizuki. I won't put you in danger like that. But you're close to catching the culprit, right? The killer has an injury on their left leg. Boss said you need to find them. Let me help you. I I like having her. I just love their interaction so much. I'm like, no, I'll take her. Take her. Normally, I would be so against like kids joining this stuff because sometimes kids can be annoying. Uh, but she's great. Date, don't you know how I feel? My parents are dead. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I don't do something, I'm going to go crazy. Date, please. Aww. Date, consider Mizuki's feelings. She is lonely. Right? And then I'm just, like, investigating all the time. She's just, like, here all the time in this crappy little apartment <laughs> by herself. Mizuki has not been with Renju and Shoko for four years. But clearly, she still feels a bond to them. A bond that was broken by the murderer. With her parents gone, Mizuki has almost no one. She can only depend on one person now. You know to whom I am referring. Yay, she gets to come! Road trip. Fine, let's go. You're gonna take me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Date. I got up, grabbed the towel from the sink, and tossed it at Mizuki. Here, wipe your tears. <laughs> We're heading out. Mizuki quickly dabbed her eyes with a towel and smiled weakly. Well, that Date, was sweet. I must admit, I am at a disadvantage. The clue that the culprit is injured on their left leg does not help me narrow down suspects significantly. We need to revisit the scene. All right, it's we gotta go back. That we might find the culprit at one of the crime scenes. Or ask around the city for further information. She looks like she just washed her face. She's ready. Ooh, lots of places. Lots of... Wow, we're going all the way back to Bloom Park. All right, let's go. I guess we'll just go in order. I still can't get over the fact if there was that I remember deep you before. gash in his leg, his or her leg, how there was no pool of blood at the crime scene. And it seems like the only blood there was Ota's. That Bloom Park is an important part of my memories. Before it shut down, I came here a lot with Daddy and Mom. They fought a lot. But sometimes they got along. Whenever we were here, it was one of those sometimes days. I remember it clearly. I was just a little girl, but it was so rare to see them laughing together. That's why I remember it so well. I remember riding the merry-go-round like this. Mom was standing right next to me. She was holding me, so I wouldn't fall. I said, the bodies were displayed places that were um, significant, you know, of, especially Shoko being on the horse on the merry-go-round that they would go to so it's obviously something personal to mizuki and then renju being hung up at his restaurant that he knew mizuki was going to come to at some point all right um have you come here before with friends other than last friday nope i haven't this place has been off limits for almost a decade even if it wasn't i don't think i would want to come back here why is that? How can I explain it? I guess I just wanted to keep that memory beautiful. And now I here didn't we want are. To ruin it or replace it with another. But in the end, it was replaced by the worst memory possible. All right, where was Renju when you were on the horse? Daddy was on the outside taking pictures of me and mom. He was on the other side of the fence with an old camera. Every time we passed in front of him, Mom and I would wave our hands. 
We sound like a happy family, huh? He must have gotten good pictures. No, actually. We tried developing them at the park, but they came <laughs> out all blurry and out of focus. But Mom wasn't mad or upset or anything. She just started laughing. That might have been the first and last time the three of us laughed out loud together. Right. Did you go on any other rides? I couldn't get on many of them because I was so little, but I did ride the Ferris wheel. And the panda ride. They're kind of tame now, but at the time they were really fun. I was having so much fun, it felt... wrong. Like it was too good to be true. Alright. Say nothing. Let's go investigate that panda then. I didn't say anything as Mizuki climbed down from the horse. Then she asked me something strange. Hey, Date, how do you define family? Define it? You mean like being blood related? That would mean you and I could never be family. Ooh, well, can I, I make a choice here? Oh, it's okay. I guess not. This is what I think a family is a perfectly ordinary relationship in the most ordinary way. Huh? Like, you say, I'm home, and you get a welcome home back. Doing those ordinary things automatically, without even thinking about it, is what a family is. Oh, that's, uh, that's a nice way of putting it. I wonder if he, she, she does that to him or he does that to her, so she considers him family. That's why maybe me and mom and daddy weren't able to be a family. Our whole lives, we never could be ordinary. Even if I tried my hardest to be normal, it would just be awkward. Eventually, I got tired of trying. I killed them. What? I... What? Killed... Mom and Daddy. Wait a minute. I know not actually, but... I... I was never a good girl. I didn't listen to Mom. I couldn't do ordinary things. That's why Mom hit me. And why Mom and Daddy didn't get along. Oh, is she saying, like, they they divorced because of her and then this wouldn't have happened, maybe? And why they got divorced. Then Mom had to start working and start doing business with dangerous people. Mm. If I was just a good girl, Mom wouldn't have been killed. This, all of this, is all my fault. Give her a hug. Date, hug her. Hug her. Please. Why me? Hey, haven't you had enough? Why me? I'm not married, so take this with a grain of salt, but it's not just you, right? Doesn't every family have a tough time raising children? Our child is abnormal! Abnormal? I mean, she was other being, than being super strong and a little bit more, like, intelligent. No child should cry at night as much as she did. That's just called, like, colic. No child should dislike buggy rides that much. No child should ask to be picked up and hugged all the time. She's still abnormal even now. Other children would have learned to clean up after themselves by now. They would be studying, going to bed on time, waking up on time. Yet why is my little girl... She sounds like a normal kid to me. Maybe the problem isn't with Mizuki. Maybe it's you. Damn, Date. I mean, I guess that you gotta be good friends to be able to give them the whole cold hard truth like that. I'm doing more than anyone! Our child is Weird stupid, face. brain dead, abnormal. Date, honey, you can't work her up like that. Damn. Date knows how she felt, so I was just like, I certainly hope he keeps that to himself, although I think Mizuki already knows how her mom felt. Alright. Mama, you should scold her. Hey, Shoko, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> like a dog. Hey, hey, hey. Get off. <laughs> or cat. Stop that. Stop that. Don't get into that. <laughs> there, I scold <laughs> Oh, mama, you're awesome. I think she's loaded. Let her get this off her chest. I'll take a drink. You sure you aren't drinking too much, honey? If you pass out, there's no way I can control her. Alright, well, uh, where's Mizuki now? Sleeping at home? Not knowing that her mother is crying her eyes out because of her. Listen to the rest of the story. I quit my job for that girl. I threw away the career that I built with my own hands. I raised my child at the expense of my own life. 
but one little slap. Are you hitting your kid? There's nothing I can do. I have no choice. I know you should never raise your hand to a child. I know that. I know that. But I have a good reason. Mm -hmm. She doesn't listen to me. So what else am I supposed to do? What the hell do you mean, what am I supposed to do? That's no reason to hit a child. Look at Date. He's he's kind of a douche and uh, really weird, but <laughs> at least he seems to know not to hit a kid. That's a pretty low bar. Pretty low bar, but still. So of course she starts crying. And it's so irritating that I have to hit her again to get her to stop. And Mizuki cries and cries some more. Yeah, I think maybe Date have I as sad as it is to say, I think Date having her is probably for the best. Why are you crying? I can see Renju just being kind of like an absent father, just being like completely opposite, whereas like she's way too intense. Where it's like Renju probably kind of distances himself and just like doesn't provide any emotional love or support. If you're gonna cry, why didn't you just listen to me in the first place? Then I wouldn't have to hit you. Stupid Mizuki. Stupid girl. It's not my fault. Everything is her fault. Have you talked to Renju about this? I'm trying. I'm trying harder than anyone. Why doesn't anyone see that? Why doesn't anyone understand? <laughs> Date. Yeah, I'll talk to Renju about this. And Renju probably doesn't care at all. It was my misunderstanding. What do you mean? I thought that mothers love their children unconditionally. But some mothers just can't do that. Well, no. Maybe she does love her. But she has a hard time of it. Shoko was never hugged by her mother. Not because her mother wasn't around. She was raised to never develop a sensitivity to affection. No hugs, no piggyback rides, nothing. So maybe when Shoko says, like, why does she need to be picked up all the time and hugged all the time? It's not like she's super clingy. It's just compared to what Shoko got. Any sort of affection that Mizuki wants is, like, a lot. Maybe that's why she doesn't know how to love Mizuki. When an animal raised in captivity gives birth, sometimes it just doesn't know how to raise its young. It's just like that. All right, did you leave Zoe? <laughs> I'm not going to let you set up a joke. <laughs> Listen to Ren's story. No, I'm more interested in you, Mama. What do you think? Why are you asking me <laughs> about raising a child, hmm? Yeah, good point. Really? You're not even going to say, oh no, Mama, you'd be a great mother. What time do you close tonight? <laughs> when you two are done talking, that's when I'll close up. Sorry about this. Wow, I love how passive-aggressive that was. <laughs> I do feel bad about Shoko. But that doesn't mean she's blameless in all this. Someone has to put a stop to it. If I could have, I would have done it a long time ago. What about counseling? I did recommend that. Okay, I guess maybe I, uh... I didn't give Renju a lot of credit. She told me, I'm not sick. Why should I go see a doctor? Mizuki is the problem. Mizuki is the sick one. Or maybe it's best if Mizuki and Shoko are separated. Ah, oh, and this is where he... This is where he's like, do you want to take her? No, Mizuki would never leave Shoko. She wouldn't hear of it. Mizuki and Shoko are practically attached at the hip. Even with all of the hitting? Yes. Even if she's abused on a daily basis, even if she's treated like garbage... Maybe. Mizuki is hungry for love. She craves praise and attention and physical affection. She wants it from her mother. That's why she's so attached. All right, couldn't you step in and take over the parenting? I have a company now. Lemnisgate. And we're at a crucial stage of development. I can't take even a single second out of my day to deal with a kid. Damn, poor Mizuki. Hey, that's your daughter you're talking right? about. Right? Not just a kid. Maybe because you two can't cooperate on raising a child, Shoko is having trouble coping. For once, Date is the one that's actually, like, speaking rationally here. That might be it. Maybe this is partially my fault. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna say it. You two are both awful parents. <laughs> Damn, Date, love it. I 
That's the whole thing. It's like, put up or shut up, man. I knew about the whole thing. You think that, like, we're such bad parents? See how easy it is for you. That's why four years ago, I decided to start taking care of Mizuki. <laughs> I mean, Dante's, like, not the best, obviously, but, I mean, you gotta give him credit. He's trying. Mizuki, you did nothing wrong. Don't blame yourself. It's not your fault. Not one single thing was your fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay well all right so now we're going to the shrine this is where they did their training right i don't know what this quite has to do with the investigation maybe they just need to blow off some steam Huh? Why are we at the shrine? Did you come here to pray that you find the criminal? No, I don't believe in God. Wow, how edgy <laughs> teen of you. Don't call me a teen. You're 12. Well, you said that you got the shoulders of a 40-year-old. That's not even remotely similar. <laughs> so why are we really here? I sometimes come here when an investigation stalls. It helps me think. Sometimes I even solve the case from here. This is a quiet, peaceful little spot in the middle of a violent city. It's calming. It keeps all of the bad thoughts away. Didn't expect you to be such a poet. You could at least call me a romantic. Same thing. They're not at all the same thing. It's the difference between someone who's frugal and someone who's cheap. You're stubborn about weirdly specific things. <laughs> that he is. Aren't we all, though? Alright, about your training. Coming here reminds me of when I trained you. Yeah. It's been a while since we came here last. I have nothing more to teach you. Let us see the results of your training. Leave it to me! Begin! Damn! I mean, like, Shoko was correct in that Mizuki is an abnormal child, but not in the way that she thought. Damn, girl! She's like a mutant or something. This is... what? How's that? Well, this is on you. Huh? Hey! What are you two doing? Mizuki! Run for I love his, like... Sensei voice. <laughs> Shinto Shrine. It looks rather solemn. Alright, let's talk to Mizuki a little bit more. About the bullies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> By the way, whatever happened to those kids who bullied you? Oh, did I not tell you? No. They're dead. I haven't said anything about it. I didn't want to pry. They stopped bugging me as soon as I threatened to fight back. They targeted some other kids instead. They did terrible things. So I... I broke all their front <laughs> teeth. Jeez. Hey, since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Come on, come on! <laughs> He's so freaking awkward. I love him. I'm coming around on Date. He's a weirdo, but a lovable weirdo. What did you ask for? To leave this boring place <laughs> as soon as possible. And you? <laughs> it's a secret. When you tell people your wish, it won't come true. Then why did you ask me? Because if your dream doesn't come true, <laughs> mine is more likely to. You're more crooked than a hernia. Huh? Anyway, where to next? I'm guessing she, like, wants a family. Maybe that's her thing. She's like, I want a real normal. I want an ordinary family. The offering hey, box. Hey, Kazuki, do you think you could fit your hand into the box there? Hey, Date, are you really a cop? Right? 
Zuki is standing there. All right, all right. So next is the the important one here, the storage warehouse. See what we can dig up this time. This is where Iris and Ota almost got killed, right? Gives me goosebumps. You scared? That's rare. You need to chill. You need to get better jokes. Oh, I understand. Chill, meaning both cold and relax. A pun intended. Don't explain it, it's embarrassing. <laughs> All right, anything on your mind? The polar bear, where did he hurt his leg? He did get hurt, right? The boss lady said so. The crane hook got stuck on the polar bear's left leg. And then when the hook got pulled out. And that's the thing. Where did that blood, blood where is the blood? That's right. The polar bear must have been bleeding badly at this warehouse. That means. About the blood. Somewhere in the frozen warehouse is the polar bear's blood. Well, to be precise, the blood of the person in the polar bear costume. Have you been here before? Huh? What do you mean? This is Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I know you said Renju doesn't own it or anything, but I thought maybe you might have seen it before. No, not at all. Really? Yes, stop being annoying. <laughs> Why would I lie about that? Somewhere in the frozen warehouse is the polar bear's blood. Okay, so I already said that. Are you cold? Gee, you think? Could I have your jacket? Oh, wait. Never mind. That jacket probably hasn't been washed in years. <laughs> Who said I'd give it to you anyway? I didn't see- yeah, I, I didn't see a washer dryer in his apartment. There might be a communal one, but still, I'm like, mm. Don't disregard good intentions so casually. Mizuki is a quick thinker. You are her father figure now. You should praise her so she matures. I don't want her to mature. She's trouble enough as it is. All right. Hey, Kagami, right? Uh, and do you like your line of work? Well, I don't dislike it. Of course, depending on the case, sometimes it does get pretty discouraging. But that just makes the job all the more important, right? It means it really makes a difference in the world. You're a great guy. <laughs> Jeez, these two are like... brochachos. <laughs> you should learn from him. Do you know why I do this job? What keeps me going? I heard you became a cop so you could steal underwear from the gym oh and not get God. in trouble. Who told you that? <laughs> I'll show them trouble. He's not denying it. All right, any leads? No, not so far. Ota was down around here, right? Correct. The bloodstains there must belong to Ota. Correct. No, wait. That's where the polar bear's leg was pierced by the hook. Oh. What? Date, I've analyzed the blood. The blood stain here is not from a single person. Oh, so they're mixed in together. Two different blood types are present. One of them is most likely Ota's. The other. Hey, do you have DNA forensics on that blood stain? Of course, yeah. I already sent it to the lab to be analyzed. I'm just waiting to hear Then back. why have you been crouched down writing about this bloodstain for the past, like, 16 hours? <laughs> why are you waiting? Because that blood is from Ota Matsushita's wound, right? I didn't think there was any need to rush the results. Tell them we need it analyzed urgently. Highest priority. The culprit's blood is mixed with Ota's. Yes, sir. Understood. You did it, Date. <laughs> We're making progress. If this goes well, we can identify the criminal with a single test. I like having her. I, she mostly just like rips Date and just roasts him, but sometimes she's like a little cheerleader. And aw, nice. It's good to see her but smile. It might take some time for the results to come out. No point waiting here. We might as well check somewhere else. Got it. All right. I wonder if he really needs to go to Lemniscate or if he just wants to go see the receptionist.
Of course, always. I want to touch your two big. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is embarrassing. Oh boy. <laughs> but okay. Seriously? <laughs> really? I guess you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. I sprinted to the desk. Then she sealed her mouth shut tight and puffed out her cheeks. I poked them with the tip of my finger. They were surprisingly soft. Date, what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, what? Does this have anything to do with the investigation? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Mizuki punched me in the gut and dragged me back to where I was. All right, Mizuki, well, you're going to have to drag me again. Let's go do a Tommy together. Huh? What? What are you doing? You guys should be used to this by now. All right, have you seen anyone with... All right, well, first, let's ask about the cup size before we actually, you know, talk about, like, investigation stuff. Oh, two. <laughs> well, of course it would be two cups. Three cups would be a nightmare. <laughs> Date, why are you asking that? Uh, nope, sorry. But I did see a guy who had legs like a horsehair crab. What? Sounds horrifying. I'm putting the investigation on hold. <laughs> I'm going to a Tommy with her. I've made up my mind. You can't stop me. And then the investigation ends and then I get the bad ending. Side effects of the medication. There's that this medication. Brain failure. Talks about the medication he takes. What's up with that? Alright, anything else? Promotional videos of the agency's talents are oh, playing. Payasi Samba. Oh, yes. Payasi Samba. I don't know who that is. Alright, okay. Let's talk to Mizuki. Alright, uh, about the person with the injured leg. Mizuki, could you go to the office? Ask them if they've seen anyone with an injured left leg. Got it. Mizuki ran into the office. After a while, she returned dejected. Looks like it didn't go well. No. Alright, so do you have any memories of Renju here? Sometimes we would talk when I came over to hang out. What kind of things did you talk about? Nothing special. The usual? The usual? Are you doing well? Have you been eating right? Huh. So that's the usual. Good idea. You might find something important in there. Mizuki and I investigated Renju's office, but I didn't find anything that could be a clue. Aw, oh, well, damn, I was hoping to actually, like, check out no the hits. office. Do not be discouraged. Bad days and sore feet are part of the job. Time to earn my paycheck, I guess. All right, down to Sunfish Pockets. I visited Sunfish Pocket with Mizuki, where Renju was killed. Once again, I looked for any clues we might have missed. I guess it was a waste of time. Yeah, I didn't find any clues. We have to be here for a reason, right? A doorway to the kitchen. Uh, can you think of anything? Um, not really. Sorry for bringing you here. Because this is where Daddy's corpse was? I told you before, it's fine. I was the one who said I wanted to come with you, so... There are the oil drum, the oil drum, a rusty drum. Come on, there's gotta be something here. Really? We came here and there's absolutely nothing at all. What about the security camera? Security cameras. I mean, I guess we got all the information we could from that. Pictures of maids on display. Which one is your type, Date? <laughs> Where is this coming from? Just tell me. Well, let's see. At least we got this conversation, so it's not a complete waste of time. Wow, you're really thinking about it? Disgusting. <laughs> you asked. Yeah, don't ask a question you don't want the answer to, Mizuki. All right, let's get going. Yeah, nothing we can do here. All right, to the hospital, I guess maybe to talk to Ota a little bit more. I'm guessing Iris is probably still in the ICU.
Mizuki. And Date. <laughs> Ota, are you okay? Yeah, totally. Oh, I don't want to get in your way. I should head home before I cause any more trouble. No, not at all. You're fine right here. No, really, I should go. What are you hiding this time, Ayumi? I'm sure that he has more fun with his friends than with me. So... Ayumi quickly shuffled out of the room. Thanks, Mizuki. Huh? You came to visit me, right? Oh, yeah. Right. It would be awkward to admit we are only here for the investigation. Yeah. Right, about Iris. Have you heard about Iris? The nurse was talking about her a minute ago. That she's still in the ICU? Yeah. Uh, apparently the surgery went well, but she hasn't woken up yet. Hey, Ota. Next time we should fold a thousand paper cranes. To wish that Iris will get better. Yeah. We could even make her a life-size crane. That would be a somewhat troublesome gift. I heard that you fought off the killer and saved Iris. That's so cool, Ota. You have a wound of honor. No, not really. Well, I guess a little. Calling me a hero. It's kind of embarrassing. I didn't call you a hero. <laughs> it is a good thing Iris was saved. But he's still irritating. Even more irritating than seeing cosplay in public. Hey. <laughs> All right, Ota. How are you? Let's let's do the niceties first. Me. Are you okay? You passed out last night. Yeah, I'm fine. I feel much better after a good night's sleep. It sounded like you were having a nightmare. You kept moaning something about Reika. Reika. Who's Reika? Seriously? Uh oh. Who's Reika? Seriously. Someone in some like a someone he knows, a friend, a previous lover, a window. Have you remembered anything? No, just what I told you yesterday. Is that the girlfriend where it's like, this is why you haven't had a girlfriend in four years? But then I feel like Mizuki would know who that would be. All right. You know, if you weren't in the hospital, I would slap you upside the head so hard you start remembering Whoa, where did again. this come from? Like shock therapy? Whoa, old school. I thought Abyss was more future tech than that. We are, but if it ain't broke... You can learn a lot from the past. I was gonna say, maybe don't say that in front of Mizuki, who has had to deal with abuse. <laughs> like, just saying. I see. Maybe you should hit him. No, no. No way. Ota's pretty energetic for being in bed all day. He's the type that gets annoying around women. <sighs> when will the day come when Iris is sleeping beside me? I remember last time you wanted me to sleep in bed with you. <laughs> My guess is never. <laughs> Alright, about the investigation. So, we still don't know who the culprit is? If you remember anything at all, please, tell me. Well, maybe that all depends. If you could get me, say, Tessa's toothbrush... It might jog my memory. Are you really gonna do this in front of Mizuki? It's fine. Mizuki proofreads the light novels I write. <laughs> I'm sure she's used to it by now. What are you making her read? <laughs> Lots of things, like... Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe that's why she knew what cuckolding was. <laughs> Wait, Mizuki. You don't have to tell him. Ota's lying in bed. All right. Anything else at all? Anything else? We're good. Let's get going. Yeah, let's go. Wait, you two just got here. It's okay. We saw you. <laughs> now we can go. Nice. <sighs> we already have Ota's testimony. It is unlikely he has any further useful information. Right. Where to now, Date? Hmm. Let's see. So that's the situation. I see. Someone with an injured left leg, huh? Hey, 
Hey, Date, are you ever gonna eat those leftovers you're keeping in the fridge? I'll get to it. Shut <laughs> up. All right, about the culprit with the injured leg. Sorry, no idea. Damn, I thought you of all people would know something. I am an informant, but really dangerous information doesn't just come rolling in here. But I promise, I'll keep my eye out for anything. Please do. And if I find something, you have to take a bath with me. Oh god. <laughs> Absolutely not. What's with all these people and, like, having demands? <laughs> Help do it for Mizuki. Come on, Mama. Oh, why not? Because you take up all the hot water. <laughs> That's your issue. <laughs> I promise I won't. I'll even take the costume off. It's a costume? Mm-hmm. And I look good without it. Oh, boy. Poor Mizuki. <laughs> Time to go. He's like, forget anything else. I am uncomfortable now. I never got to tell you, but I think she's very cute. I could just eat her up. Um, okay. Oh, don't worry, sweetie. I only really want to eat men. <gasps> Date, what are you <laughs> making me say? You said that on your own. Oh, come on. Isn't a gentleman supposed to cover for a lady's slip of the tongue? Who is the lady <laughs> Mama is referring to? And who to? said Date was a gentleman? Don't ask me. All right, know anything about the new Cyclops serial killers? I've looked into it, but I still don't have anything useful for you. The case is still as fresh as a young man's juices. Oh boy. What does that mean? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look around a little bit more because I feel like, especially with Mizuki here, there could be some funny interactions. Uh, what's in the backpack? Hey Mizuki, what's inside that backpack you always have on you? Why? I'm just curious. Well... Water, dehydrated bread, chocolate, biscuits, a flashlight, a hand charger, Swiss Army knife, a candle, matches, triangular badges, a first aid kit, whistle, portable toilet, oh my gosh. a plastic bag, duct tape, a grenade, a magnet, <laughs> disposable hand warmers. Do you have an entire disaster relief kit in your bag? You know, comment about the grenade? I, I don't know. I was like, a lot of that stuff, yes, it seems like it's a relief kit, but what is the grenade for? This girl with a grenade is terrifying. Better safe than sorry. She's gonna use it too. I bet that grenade's gonna like come in uh come into play at some point. I'm ready for anything. Perhaps I misheard. Yeah. Wasn't there an <laughs> illegal item in there? Right, the Swiss Army knife. <laughs> now I'll look the other way. Alright, still not used to mama? No, I am. You sure? You still look a little scared. A little? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at me. Yeah, because it was funny. I'm going to expose your browser history. <laughs> what? Seven ways to take home a cabaret girl. Dude, incognito mode. Come on. Like, that is basic shit. Three minutes with a married woman? <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, Date, you cad. Do you have a problem with gay people? No, not at all. I see gay people on TV all the time, so it's not weird to me. The LGBT community is rich in sensibility, has excellent taste, and is full of talented artistic people. And they share a common struggle. It makes them more <laughs> sensitive and capable of sympathy. That's why so many of them are kind and caring, and they choose how to live their lives on their own terms. It means they have a strong backbone. Damn, Azuki. So because of all that, I really respect them. They're even kind of cool. And that means you too, Mama. Oh, I <laughs> love it. Bravo. Six million yen to you. You can transfer it to my account. That was great. <laughs> hey, Date, honey. Want to see some half-naked men <laughs> hugging on the ground? Don't describe it like that. You're talking about sumo wrestling, right? <laughs> Amazing. Hey, Date? I see Caprese on the blackboard. What is that? It's a portmanteau for couples are crazy. It's a kind of song. <laughs> Oh, 
Thanks for the chat, Mama. Oh, leaving already? I have an investigation to finish, but I'll be back. You are so impatient, even though you take your time in bed. <laughs> Don't say things like that. In bed? What does that mean? <laughs> you don't need to know. Let's go. Suzuki might ask questions. Are you talking to yourself again? <laughs> Do you need to go to the hospital? Exactly. I can put it on speaker. Please. Date, are you with Mizuki right now? Yes, what's up? I need you to come to Abyss headquarters with Mizuki. I was just heading there. Did something happen? Yeah, the head office is here. They want to get information from Mizuki. We here at Abyss have her testimony. But the rest of the MPD wants to hear from her. They didn't get anything from her last time. They want to do an official questioning. Now she doesn't want to. This order comes straight from the top. We don't have the power to say no. So... Maybe Date could sit in with her as kind of like a... Um, not like a lawyer figure, but... If she gets a little nervous or something, it might be good to have, like, because she is still a minor. Be good to have an adult there. You heard her. I don't want to. I want to keep investigating. There's nothing we can do. We can't fight the power of the state. You are the power of the state. Abyss is a toenail on the foot of the state. As far as they're concerned, we don't really do anything, and we don't have any say in what they do. And anytime we get too troublesome, they cut us off. Why? Oh, stupid Dante. <laughs> hey. That's bureaucracy, kid. Sorry for the trouble. Don't worry about it. I'm just a slave to you anyway. Oh, come on. I don't treat you like a slave, do I? You did ask me to lick your shoes, I'm just saying. Just because I sometimes make you lick between <laughs> my toes. Ew, Ew what? <laughs> I didn't lick anything. Anyway, thanks, Date. And don't worry about Mizuki. I told HQ to take it easy. Mizuki, just make sure you behave and listen. It'll be over soon, don't worry. Besides that... Date, there's something I have to tell you. You have a message from one of the inspectors at the warehouse. Yeah, I'm a buddy, Kagami. We're best buds. He wants to give you some information in person <laughs> at the warehouse. Could he have... The blood results? I'll head over right away. Mizuki, you be a good girl, okay? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Great reaction. Date, sorry to make you come all the way down here. I was gonna say, could this not have been a phone call? But okay. But I have the results of the DNA analysis. What did you find? It's just like you said, there were two different blood signatures. One is definitely from Oda Matsushita. The other... Huh? Well, we got the results, but we couldn't find any matches in our database. Why did I have to come all the way down here for this? That is not surprising. HQ does not have a complete record of everyone's DNA. Yeah, boss is gonna be like, Date, go out and get everybody's DNA. <laughs> what now? What now? Do not panic. I have a piece of information I think you should know. What is it? I have discovered a suspicious person at your 12 o'clock. 200 yards. He's looking this way. Oh, okay. Person. Over here. Well, let's, let's talk to my Sorry. buddy. <laughs> oh, little Date, time for your medication. I said 200 yards <laughs> ahead! <laughs> Alright, so let's zoom in here. Ah! Right, he's alive in this timeline. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's... So, Sejima. I don't believe it. 
Oh, this seems a little too good to be true. His left leg. Are we gonna chase him down? Are we gonna have a badass? Uh... Is he gonna hold onto the car and be dragged? Damn. Okay. They're pretty ballsy of him to show up at the scene of the crime. It's him. So's the culprit. Calm down. We cannot yet make that conclusion. He was only dragging his left leg. But he's been all over this case so far. Shoko and Renju are both in bed with the Kumakuras. And the Kumakuras know so. And Aiba should be like, you should know this, Date. It's one of these games. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. And not just that. We saw him in Iris's Somnium. Still. And he has no alibi. No alibi for Shoko, Renju, or the warehouse. Date, calm down. The only thing we have so far is circumstantial evidence. We also do not have any established motive. Why would he kill Shoko and Renju? Why would he cut out Iris's eyeball? Well... Then we know that so can't be the culprit because... Well, here's the thing. Do, since we're dealing with multiple timelines here... I'm guessing the Cyclops killer does stay the same in all of the timelines, but the thing is, we know that So ends up chopped up with his eyeball taken out in some of the timelines, so... Yeah, not likely. However, I do agree that So is suspicious. Do you agree with me or not? I am explaining to you that we currently do not have enough evidence to bring him in. Confronting him now would only result in him denying everything. We need direct evidence. Direct evidence. The criminal's blood from the cold storage warehouse. Ah, so if we can get his DNA somehow. If the DNA matches So's. Right. We need to get So's DNA. The question is, how? Where can we get So's DNA? Oh, uh, oh, something around here. So he was at the scene of the crime. From the crane? Oh, we have to talk to her directly. Let him escape the Kumakura's office. Oh, that's right. Didn't he get... I was gonna say, did he get attacked at the... Did he bleed at the office? Hey, Aiba, do you remember when we went to the Kumakura's office Sunday? Of course. I am incapable of forgetting anything. Then let me ask you a question. What was on the table in front of the sofa? Oh, first, for some reason, I assumed that you had to get, like, the DNA from the blood specifically, but no, I guess you don't. So was smoking those cigarettes. What are the odds that they still have those at the, uh, at the office, though? Exactly. And so saliva might still be on the butts. Guys, clearly, I'm very good at science. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Right. We have that. We have So's DNA. I was like, we need to stab So, we need to get his blood. <laughs> Wait a moment. That was two days ago. The ashtray must have been emptied by now. But there's a chance. We have to at least try. Hmm. I agree. All right, looks like we're making a trip back to see All our right, old buddies. Let's head there. Hey, what are you doing here? You fucking with us, old man? Date, don't bother. I know. I approached the sofa without saying anything. I looked at the ashtray on the table, but... Hey, where are the cigarette butts that were in here? Huh? The cigarette butts, from when I was here a few days ago. We threw them away, of course, dumbass. Where, dumbass? <laughs> uh, why do you care about some cigarettes? I need them for the investigation of the new Cyclops serial killings. I see. Just last morning. I'm almost being much more uh, cooperative than he was last time. I heard there was a new victim. I didn't watch it, but I heard something about it being streamed online. Poor girl got one of her eyes cut out. I know that, idiot. Sorry. And you're here for the investigation? Yes. So if I cooperate, they'll help you arrest this guy? Correct. All right. 
Oh, Go well. As much as you want. Maybe he thinks it has some sort of connection with the, uh, because his brother, well, except his brother was, does he know that about how his brother was one of the, uh, like, taking part in the original Cyclops killings? Huh? That was easy. Yeah, that you seems. You you were looking for cigarette butts, right? Yeah, the one So was smoking. So Sejima? You think he did it? No, nothing for sure yet. Hey, guys, where's the cigarettes that were in here? Probably in the trash in the back, boss. Bring me the one that So was smoking. Yes, sir. Well, okay. I thought I was gonna be a, a, a more of a fight. Henchmen went into the back room. They soon came back with four cigarette butts in a plastic bag. I used disposable chopsticks to lay them out on the table. Maybe Moma's like secretly a big Iris fan and he wants revenge for her. I didn't touch him. I'm being considerate, I see. But why did you bring four? There were a couple of other cigarette butts in the bin. I didn't know which one so smoked. Moma? I don't remember. But so cigarette is definitely one of these? Yeah, it's gotta be. Date, remember the brand that so was smoking? Right. He was smoking. Oh, shoot. Uh. Rookie, Rambaro, Llamas, Klein. Oh, can I go into. Hold on. Maybe if I go into the file case, I can find it. Well, I couldn't find anything about it, so maybe let's go to the persons. Uh, let's check out So. I was hoping it would be under, like, his likes. Shoots, okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna take a guess, and I think it's Klein cigarettes. Klein. I remember. Ah! I was right, yes. I wonder what would happen if I'd gotten it wrong. I wrapped the Klein cigarette butt in my handkerchief and pocketed it. Let's return to Abyss. Pewter should be able to get DNA from it. Got it. All Looks right. like you found it. Yeah, thanks to you. Ah, uh, this was nothing. That looks. Well, are we on good terms now? We're Anything cool. For Tessa. Ah, he is a Tessa fan. Wait, is that in his? He was he was being all coy about it when he was all like, "Oh, that poor girl. I didn't see anything about it." Moma. Okay, so he doesn't say specifically about he likes her, but he called her by her name Tessa, like um, like Ota did. So I don't know if Tessa is like we know Iris. I'm assuming Iris is her real name, or is Iris itself a fake name, or does she go by Tessa Aset? Iris is her real name, is maybe like Tessa is kind of like her stage name. Right now, I gotta go back in and check. Yeah, Iris is her re oh, right, obviously, because like her, yeah, her fans call her Tessa. It makes sense. Like, if her real name was Tessa, her mom wouldn't call her Iris. So yeah, all right. So Moma Tessa fan confirmed. Tessa. Did you just say Tessa? I was joking about how he's doing this because of her. <laughs> I said anything for Tesseract. That doesn't even make sense. Shut up! <laughs> if you're done here, get your ass going. That sounds more like you. <laughs> All right. Whatever you say. He should have done her A set thing to see if he would automatically respond to it. A set, you bet. Counting on you, Pewter. You can leave it to me. Pewter took the cigarette butt from me. If the DNA on that cigarette butt matches the blood stain in the warehouse, I'm guessing it's not going to. And then we're gonna find So dead again. There would be no doubt that So Sejima is our mysterious polar bear. That would be too easy, though. How long will it take to analyze? Hmm. If I had six hours. You've got three. <laughs> I knew she was gonna do that. That's totally unreasonable, but I suppose I will do my best to have this analyzed in three hours. You folded pretty easily on that one. I want to catch the criminal as soon as possible. That's all. Now, because time is of the essence, excuse me.
How is Mizuki, by the way? They finished questioning her. I had one of the officers take her home. She should be there by now. Good. So, Sejima. I can't believe it, of all people. We don't know that for sure yet. But you saw that his leg was injured, right? It's pretty damning evidence. Don't be too hasty, boss. You were saying the same. <laughs> right? I was just about to say. Anyway, let's wait for the results. That will clear everything up. Yeah, you're right. I hope this won't be trouble. Trouble? It's nothing. Yeah, Don't worry about boss. it. Boss. Boss, considering that we know that she was working with the Kumakuras, according to uh, Iris' Somnium. Was it? It was... No, it wasn't Iris' Somnium. It was um, Falco's Somnium. Hmm? If so, was working with the Kumakuras, and Boss was working with the Kumakuras... Eh, might be some trouble there. I don't know. Pewter, is it true? The results are in. Yes, the DNA I collected from the cigarette Whoa. box. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be inconclusive or nada, because that seems too good to be true. Really? It was so all along. He was the polar bear. We're going to find him dead with his eye cut out, aren't we? He carved out Iris's eye and stabbed Oda, and probably killed Renju and Shoko. Making so Sejima the new Cyclops killer. Thank you, Pewter. Don't thank me yet. Hurry up and get so. Yeah, you're right. I turned around and made my way to the exit, but right when I was about to open the door, it was opened from the other side. Yeah, it's boss being boss. like, don't do it. Boss. Boss, listen. Boss. The blood stain in the cold storage warehouse. She's gonna do something to me. She's gonna knock me out. I know. I got a report from Pewter. I'm like, I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> then you already know. I'm heading there right now. Heading where? Where else? To So's house. Date, I'm sorry, but you can't do I that. I knew it. What? What are you doing, boss? I can't let you get So. Boss, I don't understand. This comes from the top. So and the head office have been tightening it for 20 well. years now. They can't go against So's wishes. It's corruption and bribes to be sure, but there's also some kind of blackmail. Blackmail? So knows something. Something that the public can never know. If that secret got out, the authority of law would be thrown into question, and the entire police force would be at risk. So has something on HQ? Yes, almost certainly. That's why I can't let you go. Do you understand? Hell no. <laughs> I see. Then I'm sorry, but I have no choice but to take you off this Of case. course. Turn in your badge and gun. Hey, boss, come on. Are you serious? Are you serious? Come on, Dante's the type of person, he's gonna do it anyway. She's gonna take his eyeball too and be like, and we're gonna just take that out as well. You gotta be kidding <laughs> Turn me. in your eyeball and gun. <laughs> you know him and Mizuki are just gonna go against wishes and they're gonna go and do it anyway. I had enough, I pushed past boss and left the room. I walked with a confident stride down the hall with no hesitation. I had made up my mind. I was going to Sosajima's mansion. I got into my car, turned the key, and slammed my foot on the gas. I'm sure Boss knows what he's about to do. She's probably going to have someone stop him. It's probably going to be a bunch of, like, cops waiting outside his Dante, place to stop. Are you sure you want to do this? You still have a chance to turn around. If you put your hands on So, you will never be able to return to Abyss. I don't care. I don't want to work for a rotten organization in the pocket of some politician. When this is over, I'll open a restaurant in Okinawa or something. Wait! Oh, should I make it a soba place <laughs> instead? That's not what I mean. You have a video message. Uh oh. A video. It's gonna be so dying, Look. I'm guessing. <sighs> or Mizuki! Mizuki! Wow! Okay, didn't see that Shit. coming. Ah, fuck. Welp. Mizuki! Mizuki! Where are you? Don't worry, I'll find you! I wasn't expecting her to actually be here. I thought she was gonna have been kidnapped. Not here. 
There's something's on the computer here. Maybe Mizuki was converted into quantum data and downloaded. Into Date, the really? Are you joking at a time like this? I looked under the bed. No one there. I mean, this place isn't very big. She's got to be somewhere. She. She hiding. Date, her voice is coming from somewhere near the audio equipment. She must be around there. Date, the hollow space in the speaker. Perhaps Mizuki is in Oh, there. that's right. He said that she used to hide in there and scare him. Well, let's go check it out. Yep. Mizuki! Date, hurry! Help her! I know, I know. He's just like, yeah, say, so typical. Get to see Mizuki's You're never there when you need to be. Her usual self. Just like six months ago, I was about to miss the bus and you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, stay like that for a while. Amazing. Amazing. Halt your investigation. This. Consider this a warning. She's like, now you have to bring me everywhere so that I don't end up alone. And then that won't happen again. Alright, are you okay? I'm not hurt. My mouth stings a little. Thanks to you ripping the tape <laughs> off my face. If I get fat lips from this, I'm gonna make you pay for cosmetic surgery. Don't girls want bigger lips, though? Huh. Who did this? Three men. The doorbell rang and they said they were delivery men. I thought you had bought another one of your weird videos or something, <laughs> so I opened the door. Even when she's talking about, like, being, you know, like, tie up, and so she just can't ha help but take digs at me. And they sprayed me with tear gas. Did you see their faces? No. They were all wearing masks. It is probable that they are working for So. They may be his bodyguards or hired thugs. It just makes me so mad. If they didn't get the jump on me, I would have... I know she would have too. Like, it's, this isn't just a kid being like, oh, I would have beat them up. Like, we know she could. Mizuki, I have just one thing to say. Huh? Never in my life <laughs> have I bought any weird videos. That's what you wanted to say? <laughs> oh, amazing. Mizuki is sitting on the side of the bed. All right, we know who the culprit is. What? We identified the person inside the polar bear. The man who tried to kill Iris and Ota? Yes. And also, the man who killed your parents. Who? Congressman So Sejima. So? Do you know him? Kinda. I've seen him on TV before. But why? I don't know why yet. But it was definitely his blood at the cold storage warehouse. I can't believe it. I'll never forgive him. I'll get him for this. All right, the two of us, we're going to go together to So's and we're going to take him down, right? Right? I'm going to So's right now. And you know, he's going to probably say, stay here. But she's going to be like, yeah, see what happened the last time when you kept me here by myself? I'm coming with you. Mizuki, I'm going to So's house now. Are you leaving me behind again? No. Yeah. Not anymore. Yes. <laughs> Even if I tried to leave you behind, you'd still come with me, wouldn't you? So are you ready? What should I be prepared for? So's bodyguards will be armed. It might get messy. Bring it. <laughs> put them in the ground. Don't <laughs> kill them. We need him alive, and I need you to stay safe. Can you do that? Always. Always? Occasionally. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Date, you have to understand. He killed my parents. I saw their bodies with my own eyes. If I turn back now, I'll go crazy! 
I know. You don't have to say it. Let's go. Five minutes. All right, this is happening. Yes. I'm excited and nervous. Thanks for the warm welcome. I came for so. Please, take me to him. What are you talking about? He's sleeping and not taking any visitors. Go home. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. I'm coming in. I took one step. All that went about as uh, he should have expected, and then I felt a shock ripple through my stomach. It was a fist screwing into my gut. Is like Mizuki kind of waiting and hiding? We're gonna leash her like a rabid little animal to take these guys out? <sighs> It's like Date's going in. Wanted to see this line. It's like Date's going in is kind of like the bait, and then Mizuki's gonna come from the shadows like a ninja. Nice punch. Well, let me use a line too. This is the end for you, chump. Sejima's orders, nothing personal. Go, Mizuki, go. That's what I thought. Huh? You're so predictable. What? Yeah, unleash the beast! Fuck yeah, with a pipe! God damn, Mizuki! Is she gonna throw that grenade at some point that we found out she's got in her backpack? In her backpack? <laughs> nope. We're not even close to done yet. Oh, this is Look. getting exciting. Alright. Oh. It's like... Bring it on. It's like the Matrix, a bunch of... Let's do this. <laughs> a bunch of clones. Alright. Are we actually gonna do some, like... Fighting here? Kill them. Date, I'll take care of these guys. You get those, Date. Are you okay? <laughs> Shouldn't you worry more about yourself, old man? Oh, this is awesome. This is starting off strong. <laughs> they have guns. I don't know why they're running at me with guns. I'm you know, off. guns are like a long-range weapon. Damn. <laughs> Dante's got nothing. These guys are the worst shots ever. Aiba? Are we gonna get Aiba in here? Like, yeah, Mizuki's a little bit of a smaller target, but really, none of them hit her at all. And she's even stopping to, like, gloat. Oh, so you gotta get some better bodyguards. You have, uh, quantity over quality here. It's dark. I can barely see. Go, Aiba. There are numerous hostiles. Too many for you and your revolver to combat effectively. So what's the plan? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, are we gonna do some quick time events? I gotta get ready here. Haven't had one of these in a while. Date, the island in the middle of the pond. Do you remember it? Yeah? Your favorite thing is on that island. <laughs> porn mag! Your favorite thing? A porno magazine. <laughs> what? I love how he fell for it twice. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, space, 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 space. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Porno mags give him super speed. Wait, there, there's no magazine. He's like, I fell for this twice. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Huh? Where'd the porn go? <laughs> Is she just gonna be like, it's over there, actually. Run that way. Or did she just want them all clustered in one spot? Instead of all spaced out? Like, why would they not shoot at him right now? They're giving him a lot of ample time to do something. Date, load evolver with wire bullets. What am I shooting at? Above us. Above us? Why? No time to explain, just do it! Has Iba ever steered you wrong? Like, they're letting him, they're giving him time to load up his gun with this bullet.
Oh, control, control, control. That would have been embarrassing if I hadn't hit it in time and he's just like pointing his gun in the air and then nothing happens. <laughs> what was that? That's supposed to be a warning shot or something? Now throw us the gun. Come quiet. I thought you guys were gonna kill us. Now all of a sudden you're being uh, a little bit more placid about it. Date, do as I told you. Don't you mean surrender? Do it! Do it or we die! Uh, space and down, space and down, space and down. Okay, ah. Hey, what does Iba have in mind here? So the wire thing shot up at something in the air. But what? Oh, is it because it's electricity? The lightning's gonna strike the water, right? Because there's a, um... Yep. Yeah, nice, Iba. I thought it was gonna hook onto something, like maybe there was something up in the air it was hooking onto, but I'm like, ah, okay, pretty smart. I collected my evolver from the pond. You lied to me again. <laughs> I have already explained this to you. If you hear the words porno magazine, your reaction speed increases by a factor of 3.6. A rather convenient function of yours. <laughs> why wouldn't I take advantage of it? And why do you keep falling for it? That would be my question. Damn it. <laughs> How did you know about the lightning? Satellite imagery, atmospheric conditions, and other factors. However, I predicted the lightning would fall elsewhere, so I had you launch wire bullets to direct the lightning to the pond. Well, how convenient that there just happened to be a thunderstorm while we were here. Anyway, where's Mizuki? I will scan for her. She's probably been taken captive. Yep. No, oh, no. She get like pepper sprayed or something. Wait for me, I'm coming. I sprinted through the rain soaked garden and into the mansion. Not here. I detect trace amounts of capsaicin in the air. Yep. Zuki appears to have been sprayed with tear gas. No. There's that vase that so may or may not be in, not this room. Not this one either. I couldn't find Mizuki anywhere. This is Mizuki's metal pipe. Okay, so he is still alive. What? He's probably got cameras and stuff, right? Taking Mizuki hostage. Shit! Date, look around. Mizuki must be nearby. Oh, am I actually looking? Okay, sliding Have you door. Looked on the other side of the sliding door. Not yet, but I know there's another room back there. So I'm just gonna look out this way. <laughs> uh, folding screen. Holding screen. Yeah. Cushion on top of the chair. Okay, so I know it's behind there. So how do I... Oh, there we go. I just have to click on it again. Derp. There she is. So I just have to fire through the folding screen, right? Mizuki. That is so holding her. Son of a bitch is using her as a shield. Why isn't Mizuki fighting back? Because she just got sprayed with tear gas. She does not appear to be conscious. I cannot determine why. But she is breathing. She is alive. I have to do something. Wait, don't move. Remember what So told you. That he can see us somehow. There may be a sensor or something similar in this room. Or I could just shoot him in the head. Yeah. I would stop that line of thinking. Yeah, because like he can see me raising the gun, right? If you shoot now, there is a high chance he will hit Mizuki. Then what am I supposed to do? Let me think. 
If she could just kill the sensor, then he wouldn't know where I am, right? Because the sensor has to be electronic, I'd assume. Oh, use it like a baseball bat, I guess. He's still gonna see me loading the gun. This is still gonna look not great. I did as I have instructed, moving carefully to not draw suspicion. You need to do two things. First, throw the metal pipe toward the southwest corner of the room. Oh, to distract him? Then immediately shoot a spherical bullet okay. at the pipe. No questions. There is no time to explain. Ibuzz never steered us wrong. Don't question it. You sure this will work? If you time it correctly, yes. My calculations are never wrong. Oh no, it's up to me. That's never good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some more quick time events, I'm are guessing. Yeah. I guess so. Alright. Please let me do this correctly. This will be awkward if I don't. Uh, space. Oh, it's gonna shoot through the pipe. The ball's gonna come out one side of the pipe and go and hit so, I'm guessing. Oh, ah, uh, da, da, eh, da, enter, enter. Do I just have to make sure it's, what am I doing here? Do I have to hit a button? Oh, control, control. Ah, oh, I was like, what am I doing? I love, she's like, if you time it correctly, it'll be like, it gave me a lot of leeway there. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna go up. Yeah, wow. nice. Mizuki. Mizuki. She's gonna get shot. She's gonna get shot. Don't shoot. She's gonna get shot. Mizuki, ah. move! Oh no! <gasps> Mizuki! Ah. Shoot so. Uh hey, hey. Date, don't. Oh don't. Shit. Oh no! Uh-oh, did I just kill? I threw myself to the left to push Mizuki away. Whoops, but... Oh no! <laughs> I fucked up! I fucked up! Iba helped me with all that stuff, and I still fucked up. No. Impossible. I think I got a bad end here. No, no way! Date, no! Don't die! Don't die! Date! Damn! A bad end. <laughs> All right, I think that's my first time getting one of those. Mizuki! Mizuki! Dante! Mizuki, move! Checked Mizuki. Hopefully this won't end up with me getting shot as well. Ooh, okay. Oh, my eye! Oh no! Uh-oh, well, it looks like I don't have Iba to help me anymore. Shit, this is bad. Oh, don't tell me this is the <laughs> that this is the wrong end too. I don't think so. I'll just have Pewter make me another one if they will, you know, let me work at Abyss again. <laughs> Pathetic. Killed by your own father. By the way, do you like fireworks? Wait, killed by your own father? Is so my father? What? Or is he saying that she's killed by her father? The most even though, like, he should know that Date is not her father. But don't blink. I just had a moment where I'm like, is so my father? <laughs> It'll only be a flash. Do I shoot so? Lights, lighting. The lights aren't on. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, well, let's save first. 
I mean, I was literally given no other option. At least I don't... I'm sure there was a secret option that I didn't know about, but... How do you like these fireworks? What? Nice. Mizuki's seen enough dead bodies. It's okay. And plus, unlike her parents, she actually wanted this guy dead. <sighs> I just want to go to the cabaret club. <laughs> What? I'm just thinking about that killed what? by your father. What I'm just like, hey, is so around. secretly her father? <laughs> is so my father? Date, is she implying that Date up. is Mizuki's like father, hey. even though not really? Hey, Date, Date. Wouldn't that be crazy if Mizuki was secretly So's daughter, and that's like the whole reason that he killed, you know, he went after her parents, or her parental figures. We know he's, he's fine. We just need to get another eye. It's okay. I know even the best of us can be taken out of commission by a simple cold, but I always thought Date was above that somehow. Like a hero. A hero? Heroes are supposed to be invincible. Even if the odds are stacked against them, something miraculous happens to save them. That's what I thought would happen to Date. This is feeling dead. like a bad yes. end. <laughs> you make it sound like he's dead. <laughs> right. Sorry. Date has an artificial eyeball called an AI ball in his left eye socket. That's exactly where So shot him. So, it acted like a kind of shield. Because of that, the bullet didn't go through his brain. But we lost Aiba. Saved Aiba. Date's life. The surgery to remove the bullet was successful, and now all we have to do is wait until Date wakes up. That's what was supposed to happen uh -oh. anyway. Uh-oh. Supposed to happen? Instead. Oh no. What the fuck? What? What? <laughs> I won't call him up, but I'll say he's an idiot. Idiot? No answer. Oh, I can say all of them. Perverted old man. No response. Am I in a coma? About Date's punishment. Don't worry about that. It's true that Date disobeyed direct orders, but that order basically came from So himself. And he's not going to be a problem anymore, is he? Date won't get reprimanded for this. Oh, good. So also no longer has his hooks in the MPD. We can finally resume the investigation properly. Uh, about the new Cyclops killer. All the evidence points to So Sejima. But it's not that simple. Thanks to Date, I think we can finally close no, this No, there'll be another murder after this, and it'll be like, the case continues. There might even be a promotion waiting for him after this. If he wakes up. About the eyeball. Oh, that's Aiba. Aiba? Yeah, Date's partner. You saw him talk to himself sometimes, right? More like all the time. That was him talking to Aiba. Oh. It's strange, isn't it? The surgery was successful. No EEG abnormalities. But he still hasn't woken up. I think I might know why, but... Something to do with his... Because I... Or... Is it Iba? Kept talking about his medication. Something happened to Date, obviously. If I'm right, it's nothing any of this medical equipment can fix. Something about his lost memories, his medication... The problem lies in his soul. His soul? Something's going on in his consciousness. <sighs> Is there another sinker? We can always- maybe we can go into Date's mind. I'm not the only sinker, right? Equipment used for modern- I'm guessing I'm- Date's probably not in any condition right now to be synced. I remember Date would wake up late at night to watch his one show. It was just a girl running toward the camera in slow motion. I didn't get it at all. I wonder if they still have that show. There we go. Oh! Whisper porno mag in his ear and see if he wakes up. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. Still no answer. A bed with my pet lying on it. Date was like a pet cat to me. That's not funny. Anything else? About Date's soul. He's lost somewhere in his own mind. Lost? He doesn't know the way back. 
Sinking over and over can have this ah, effect. Okay. How can he find his way back again? Only one way I can think of. Maybe. Paging Miss Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue Kuranushi. Oh, is that actually we've learned boss's name, Shizue? Please come to the nurse's station. Shizue. Looks like I gotta go. All right, we've learned boss's name. I'll just keep calling her boss because that's easier. <laughs> I'll be back as soon as I can. What? While I'm gone, keep talking to Date, okay? You might give him a reason to wake up. See you. Talk to him. Huh. All right. Shizu Kuran uh, Kuranushi. Boss's real name is Shizue Kuranushi. Shizue. Shizue Kuranushi. Does not roll off the tongue. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't fit her at all. Don't you think so, Date? Please, Date. Laugh about it with me. Hey, Date. You're so stupid. You know that? Grade A, first class, king of the idiots. Why did you protect me? It was my own fault. I went into the mansion by myself and then got tear gas sprayed at me by soap. He hit me in the back of the head and I blacked out. This was all my fault. Everything I did was a mistake. But you came to save me. You made me look like an idiot, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I get it. You wanted to scold me, right? After saving me, you're never gonna let me hear the end of it. Oh, poor Mizuki. She feels like all of her parental figures, like, everything that happens to them is her fault. You suck, Date. Big, stupid jerk. Speak honestly. Okay. Since we're Aw, oh, here we go. Sweet I'll moment. I'll be honest with you. Earlier, Boss said that you were like a hero, right? I think so too. Deep down, you're a hero to me. You raised me since I was eight. Even when times were hard or you were depressed, you were there for me. The past few days too. After mom and daddy, I was trying to act like it didn't bother me, but really... I was just holding it inside, staying quiet, pushing my feelings down, and I just took it. I forced myself to be happy, but inside, it hurt so bad, like I wanted to die. Sad, and afraid, and alone, my heart was about to break, but, but because you were there, I was able to fight it. You being there helped me be myself, but if you're gone, Date... I... Hey, Date, wake up. Come on, wake up. What happened to your promise? You can't tell me you forgot. You promised, Date. We're supposed to eat stew. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna break your promise? That's how Mizuki's, uh, I'm guessing that's how Mizuki's route is going to end with them going to go get that stew. You're not going to take me? That's not fair, Date. You liar. And God's a liar, too. I prayed at the shrine. I prayed that you wouldn't get hurt, Aww. but... <laughs> I wonder if it's possible, probably not, if Mizuki could somehow sync with Date and get in there and try and, like lead him out of his own consciousness, lead him out of his own mind. But I, I imagine you have to have, like, some sort of training to be a sinker. Do you want to save Date? Is this what's gonna happen? Yes. Then I'll finish my thought from earlier. I wonder if that's what's actually gonna happen There's here. There's one way we can bring back Date. Someone has to sink into oh, his brain Oh my goodness, home. it is too happening. Someone? Mizuki, I need a favor. Huh? You synced with Date once before, right? Your synchronization levels were extremely high. Oh, that's sweet. You two are compatible for syncing. No one is more qualified than you. Please. So we're gonna play as Mizuki and we're gonna go into Date's mind. Please save Date. Okay. I'll try. This will be interesting.
any circumstances stay longer. So annoying. <laughs> you told me a thousand times. <laughs> Mizuki is just so. <laughs> She's like that with everybody. Leave it to me. So I wonder what happens, like, if you fail a sink, do you have to wait before you can sink again? Or is that, like, you only get one chance? Are you ready, Mizuki? Hmm. <laughs> then, let's begin. Alright, it'll be interesting to see what the inside of Date's mind looks like. I mean, I think we saw it once before. The very first sync we- or the synchronization we ever did was in his mind. Oh, I can't wait to play as Mizuki. This is great. This is my house. But it's in black and I mean, white. it'll be a small area to check out at least. Is this what's inside Date's heart? Date, where are you hiding? Date! Oh, is that the stew? Huh? There's color over there. Oh, we don't have Aiba either, do we? Yeah, so it's not it's not Aiba who's in here, it's Mizuki. I hope we get Aiba back. Peter just has to make another Aiba, right? Alright, bring back Date's heart. Date's heart is lost. To bring him back, I need to tell him my true feelings. I mean, man, this is like the smallest area. I should hopefully go pretty is well. That stew? Uh, let's taste it. I'll try eating some. The vegetables and meat are cut too big. Are they always this big? No, all his memories have are going to be of her. And he was trying. Oh, hey, he was trying to make her stew, and she's probably like his little girl, being like, "They're cut too big. I can't eat it." Hey. Oh, this is going to show Date like trying his best to take care of Mizuki. Date. Don't be modest now. This is my special recipe. Eat it while it's hot. I don't know how I did it, but I think it came out pretty good. I mean, if it's literally also going to show me things in color, this will be a very easy. This is when I first came to, to Date's do. house. Date, what happened? Why this? The desk got colored. Police ID. Date's police ID. Uh, throw it. Uh, let's look. Date's police ID. Without this, no one would believe he's really a police officer. Leaving it around like this is how it gets lost. If I hide it somewhere, maybe he'll panic and wake up. Aw, uh, never mind. <laughs> he's too dense to notice something like that. <laughs> even in even when she's trying to save him, she just can't help Dante's but roast him. Board. Uh this note. I wonder what this note is. Side Wop? Is this someone's name? A woman? I can't tell. Ugh, useless. <laughs> Date's handwriting is trash. Alright, the computer. Date's cork. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance here, and we're gonna see. I wanna see the picture, even though I know that's gonna screw me here. A pretty picture of a river. Where is Akikawa Valley? I'd like to go there someday. 
Okay, so we want to we want the computer. That's what I've been trying to click on. Don't look on there, Mizuki. <laughs> ah, no, that's yeah, that really screwed me. Uh, let's turn it on. Power button, power button. Where is it? Well. <laughs> oh. Whoops. <laughs> Good job, Mizuki. I know that's the whole joke about these computers is just like an electronic is just hit them till they work, but you're a little strong for that. You're just gonna break Dante, shit. I broke your computer. You can't watch any more porn. You better come out and stop me. I love how Mizuki is like she's she knows about porn and stuff, but she's still very uh immature and like naive about certain aspects of things like that. It's like, I know what porn is, but I don't know that- I'm glad she doesn't. <laughs> Four minutes, Mizuki. Okay, let's you all right? throw it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. It's all your fault, Date. She's Get just gonna okay. trash his, uh, his mind. Well, that was no good. <laughs> uh, the police ID? What am I doing here? Date's police. Okay, I'm just gonna throw everything. How about that? <laughs> let's just throw everything. <laughs> are you crazy? Jeez, what are you doing? It's because you washed your old underwear with my clothes, dummy! Pervert! I gotta be more careful. If I keep this up, I'm not gonna get off with a warning and a pay cut. I remember this. All right, where is it shining on? Oh, trash can, trash can. A trash can. Uh, well, I tossing. St I, no, I'm not gonna smell it. I'm not Iba. I'm throwing things have worked for me so far, so we'll this do paper. that, I guess. I'm gonna throw it away, okay? Hope it's not important. How can I get you to react, Dante? There's something about this trash can. A trash can. I can't believe I might actually, like, fail this after being like, this will be so easy. Oh, maybe this. Hey, your school announced bring your parents to school day, right? Don't you have to tell Renju and Shoko? Wouldn't matter. What should I do? This is so sweet that Mizuki can see all the stuff that Date Sorry did for, for her. Making you worry about me, Date. This is gonna be so sweet when he eventually wakes up. They're gonna be like bestest of friends after this. But she'll still roast him. Alright, so where is it going now? To the music? Did she maybe... She did... Oh, that's right, she hid in the speakers, didn't she? I bet that's what I've gotta do. Uh, lift it, hit it. Oh, I was hoping there would be a thing to, like, hide in it. Maybe she hits it and he gets mad at her? I don't know. I'm going to destroy all your electronics and stuff. Hope that's okay, Dante. Nope, that didn't work. Shoot. Come on! React to me. It's boring otherwise. Funny, she's just like, she's like a cat who's just trying to get a reaction. She's like, I'm gonna knock this glass off the table. You better give me attention. Mm. Oh, okay. That's my voice. Mizuki, Mizuki, hold on. I'll find you. I remember being mad at you because you took so long. But after I saw your face, everything felt better. Okay, my you chair. Have three minutes chair remaining. Be careful. Huh. <sighs> Relaxing. If I sit here much longer, I'm gonna get sleepy. The chair where I always sit. Uh, let's 
Let's lift it. <laughs> I wasn't hoping he was gonna be under the chair. I was hoping he would like react to her lifting up the chair. Damn it! I'm failing so hard here. The game is feeling sorry for me and giving me like really good timies here. It's got a butt print on it. I wonder if I sit there too much. Oh my gosh! All that and I wasn't even supposed to do anything with the chair. No. It's at a rabbit. Uh, say ugly. I guess I could have thrown it. It is pretty ugly. That a rabbit is kind of ugly. I mean, at the time I said it was ugly, but. Aw, he got that for her. I hope this is okay. Oh, this is so sweet, actually. Like I'm home. Mizuki, uh, uh -huh. welcome back. Aw, oh. And didn't she say the whole thing about, like, a home is where you say, I'm home, and then the person says, welcome home, and that's a family, right? You don't have to look so pained, Date. <laughs> What's with that face? What's that? <laughs> Even he's like, I'm sorry. This? Oh, uh, I, I wonder. I was just thinking that this place looks awfully empty, right? Look, it's perfect right here. Hmm, ugly. <laughs> oh, he's trying, Mizuki, he's trying. Now it's gonna be her bed. Next. The fact that he gave up his bed for her. It's my bed. Oh no, shoot. Uh, uh, I feel like I'm gonna fail this one. Uh, it's, oh boy, that's gonna take almost a- Oh no, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, smell? Alright, uh, we'll try sleeping. It's gonna take up like all of my time, but hopefully this is the right choice. <sighs> Sorry, Gate, but I can't sleep anywhere but here. Figuring no, out a damn it. Tough. What should I do next? Oto would have this cleared in seconds. Now that I think about it, didn't I used to sleep on that sofa? Yeah, there we go, and then he gave up his bed for her. When did that change? Damn it, no! It's my bed? Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna fail this anyway. Let's to lift hurry. it. I was gonna smell it, but. Underneath the bed. I probably. I've got this. a bad feeling about this. I got too cocky. I was like, oh, I'll, God. I'll get no this. I'll get this, no problem. It's my. I might still do it. I've got 41 seconds. <laughs> Doesn't smell like anything. Good. I can't sleep if it smells like Date. Damn it, no, that was wrong. Oh, shoot. Oh, the door. A door. Let's open it and say, like, welcome home. Nope. It won't open. Is Date inside? No, that's not it. The one inside was... A door. Oh, he looks so sad. Mizuki, hey. I'm sorry about eating your pudding without asking. I'll buy you another one. Hey, come on, open up. I'm at my limit here. I really have to go. <laughs> I'm gonna piss my pants. <laughs> Mizuki, seriously, come on. Open the door! <laughs> His bed. Well, a sofa. I'm gonna fail this. That's sleep. I'll have to redo it anyway, so I'll just save from a go from a previous checkpoint. I was sleeping here before though. 
I said that. Oh, did he pick her up and carry her to the bed instead? Oh, he is too. Like I said, Dante is really growing on me. He's a pervert. He's a weirdo, but he's got a good heart. Even after I trashed all his shit, <laughs> threw his computer out the window, broke his speaker. Oh my, ah. Oh. I've got one more mental lock. I'm like, oh my gosh, I did it with like no time to spare, but I'm gonna fail. I have like two seconds. There's color that way now. It looks like sunlight. Miss the fridge. You're out of time. I'll get in. <laughs> Maybe scare him. I don't do good with tight spaces. <laughs> Damn it, okay. And it's cold. Alright, well, we're gonna fail this. It's the fridge. We got <laughs> I'll just keep using my one sixth. Um let's open it. Huh. Nothing's inside. Probably because this is Dante's room. Okay, one more chance. One more chance. Literally, this is all I got. So, Maybe Dante is flat under this. all the lifting hasn't worked so far. Oh! Wow, Adder Rabbit went totally flat. Did I crush Adder Rabbit and then Dante was like kind of upset about that? Dante, what are you trying to tell me? Adder Rabbit isn't cursed, right? Time. Ah, oh, damn it. So okay. Dante? No. Dante! That's okay. We can do it again. It's all good. The Maybe Dante and Dante. There's still You have less than one minute. You have to hurry. Oh. Uh-oh. Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Okay. Oh, did I almost burn the apartment down? Hmm? What? I can't move. Is this sleep paralysis? <laughs> what? Maybe Adder Rabbit Adder is Rabbit. cursed. What? Am I gonna have to fight Adder Rabbit? What is going are you on doing here? This? Stop! Please! What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Why? No! Dante! Help me! Dante! I'm s oh, okay. I'm so confused. What does this mean? Ah. Dante's coat. I'm not wearing that. Why, did he try and get her to wear it? This looks dirty. It smells like him too. Well, I'm not gonna wear it. <laughs> I don't want to wear your coat, Dante. Dante's coat. Kick it? When in doubt, kick, I guess? Damn it, I'm gonna fail again. No, it's not right. I'll do it when he's wearing it. That's <laughs> much better. Oh, okay, that was the right hey, thing to do, maybe. I got an extra sweet pudding for little babies. You can have it. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Watch your mouth! <laughs> Ah! Okay, okay, backpack. My school bag. This charm? This is from Ikume Shrine. Hey, 
since we're here, let's go into the shrine. I told you, I don't believe in that stuff. Did he end up keeping... Uh, cause, oh, Come on. okay, what happened Come after on. this? Did he buy her a, uh, a charm, or did he keep one? Even though he said he didn't believe in it. So her whole, her whole wish was for him not to get hurt. I wonder what his wish was. Probably something to do with Mizuki. Like, hopefully Mizuki will learn to love me. We can be a family. I, I can protect her. Oh. Oh. What did you ask for? To leave this boring place as soon as possible. This is very sweet. Tate. Oh, I did it. I did it. Well, we're not out of this yet, but... Date! Daddy! Oh, do I have Mom. to, like, make a choice? Do I have to run over? Okay, I'm gonna save just in case. Oh, my true feelings. Oh! Who do I go to? Oh, shit. Well, you know what? I'll just do this just to get the ending and see what happens. Mom. Mom. And Daddy. Oh boy, even here I have to make choices still. What happens if I say Mom? Mom? Because she always wanted her mom's approval, I right? I love you, Mizuki. I'll never let go. We'll be together forever. I feel so bad after all that stuff she saw Dante do for her. I'm like, I'm gonna go over Mom. here, though. Mommy! <laughs> Sorry, Dante. Don't worry, I'm coming for you. in another save. Ah, oh, that's just... Okay, that was just the bad thing to do. Okay. Daddy! Mom! See, when I did that, I was thinking I was gonna get, like, a bad end, but it just stopped the sink. I guess the whole point of my- of this was to get Date out of here, so of course I would fail. Date? Date, wake up! Everyone is worried about you! You shouldn't come to me. Go be with your parents. What? 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 Just pushing me away? Poor Mizuki. No, I'm gonna go to him again. I'm just gonna keep going. No, I'm gonna go again. Dante, please, wake up! I am not what you need. No, I'm going again. Damn it! No! Ah, I still failed even when I thought I had it. Dante! Damn it. Dante! Alright, so now that I'm here, I just restarted from the beginning so that I would have enough time. So, hopefully this is enough time and hopefully I'm doing the right thing here. Date? Date, wake up! Everyone is worried about you! You shouldn't come to me. Go be with your parents. What? I just have to be persistent. Because we know that going to my parents is an automatic... Game over. I just gotta get through to him. Date? Date, please, wake up! Man, it's really down to the wire. Even with me doing everything correct, 
It's still gonna be closer than I'd like. You need. You have less hey! than two minutes. Hurry, Mizuki. Oh man, it's just more and more time. It's just Alright, here we go. Oh good. It's the old game thing of do something three times. If you were here, I... Get up, Dante! I... I love you. I... Say it. Say it. That's gonna be the magic words. I... Need you! That works, too. Mizuki. Aww. Thank you, Mizuki. Yay! Did it! After a lot, a lot more trial and tribulation than I was expecting. Oh, that was cutting it. Whoa, so close. Now it's the other way around, where she's gonna give... Well, she gave him a hug the first time they came out of the sink, right? And now she's gonna do it again. Get here. Yay! Daddy! Except this one is... <laughs> or try and punch him. Hey, then, come on, then hug him. Affection. Aww. Because you're so stupid! Huh? <laughs> you're so stupid! I just wanna punch you! Welcome back. Welcome home. Oh, okay. welcome home. It's like she said, right? Yeah. I'm home. They're family. There it is. Okay, so there we go. So is that... But we know that just like with uh, the last route, there's probably going to be something at the end. There's going to be like, oh, by the way, here's a bombshell dropping. But that was a very sweet. That was so sweet. Ah, I love Mizuki and I love Date together. Hey, they're going to the shrine. Sweet. Continuing their training. Or maybe going for prayer. And there's Iva! <laughs> Iva did a little clap too, so freaking cute. Now why are you on her shoulder? It is more comfortable than your eye socket. You can sit here anytime you want, okay? Just hide if you see someone coming. The world's not ready for you. About the new Cyclops killings. The case has been settled. So oh, okay. Was to be the new so in this killer. timeline, I guess so was the killer. So it does change each time. I'm waiting for there to be a thing where at the end it's just like there was another murder. Bah, bah, bah. So actually, it wasn't the killer. No crime similar to the mo of the Cyclops Damn. killer have been right. reported since Sosajima died. Well, so much for that then. But we still don't know his motive. Why were those three chosen as targets, and why hollow out the left eye? It is the opinion of the lead investigators that that behavior was simply the result of so sadistic, sociopathic nature. I don't buy it. I don't I buy agree. it either. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Mizuki. No, it's fine. Something to do with Date, because his eye is gone, too. It's gotta be. I do not believe in the existence of God, but, being that we are at a shrine, I felt it necessary to go with the tradition. What did you pray for, Date? I didn't ask for anything. I just said thank you. 
Thank you for saving my life. Pardon me, I believe there is a misunderstanding. <laughs> it was I who saved your life, not God. I was the one who stopped the bullet. That was completely by chance. Wait, do you even remember that? I do. Everything that I see is uploaded to the cloud, all wirelessly, in real time. Even if my body is totally destroyed, my data is backed up and never lost. That includes my memories, as well as my central programming, which governs my artificial intelligence. Though, I do not have any information from after being shot. Do you know what Date said right before he lost consciousness? No. What did he say? <laughs> I said, Azuki, I'm so glad that you're safe. No, you didn't. You were moaning about wanting to go to a cabaret club. <laughs> that sounds like Date. Oh, anything else from Iba? The offering box. Hey, Iba, now that you're in that form, you think you can wiggle your way into that offering box? <laughs> he really wants that money. Certainly. I go to the money box, you go to jail. Is that acceptable? I guess not. All right, about Iris and Ota. Oh, yeah. Ota was discharged from the hospital. He's doing fine. Iris is still in the hospital, though. I heard. I hope she gets better soon. Yeah. About so. There's one thing I haven't told you yet, Date. What is it? Five days after the first incident, on Tuesday, I think, I saw So on my way home from the police station. Where? I was getting dropped off at home. But he's he watching her. No. Someone was walking next to him. My homeroom teacher. Oh. Homeroom teacher. She's also my mom's best friend. It's Interesting. A long story. I'll tell you later. Interesting. No, tell me now. Yeah. I don't want to. Why not? Because I'm hungry. <laughs> get that stew. I'll tell you over food. We're supposed to get stew, right? Maybe they already went for the stew. What did you pray for? That you die soon so that I can collect your life insurance money. You wouldn't get a dime. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. You haven't said it yet. Said what? Thank you for saving your life. <laughs> I don't recall hearing a thank you from you either. I saved your life before too, you know. Well, fine. You don't have to say it. I know that you love me. Who said anything <laughs> about loving you? Oh, you don't remember? When we were at So's, you were saying, Mizuki, Mizuki. <laughs> You sounded really concerned. I wasn't saying Mizuki. I was saying <laughs> my new skis. Yeah, I was thinking about hitting the slopes later. Nice cover. Date, you're a total tsundere. <laughs> you both are. A tsundere, one who appears cold or hostile initially, but eventually shows a warm or friendly side. That is... That describes Date perfectly. Also, Mizuki. I don't want to hear it coming from you two. What? What do you mean? They really don't see it, huh? <laughs> Doesn't matter. Let's get going. Where? You know. We're gonna go eat that vomit stew. Yeah. Really? Yay! I'm still waiting for something shocking to happen at the end, but I'm okay with this too. It's just nice to see them together and happy. With apparently everything wrapped up. Oh, Mizuki root end. Okay, that's it. So, all right, so was the killer. That's shocking to me still. All right, well, that ends yet another route. Uh, I know that there is a couple of routes. Um, I will, I'm wondering at this point if I should like refer to a guide, a spoiler free guide, but just to make sure that I'm, you know, not rehashing old stuff, but that was a really good one. Like, the Oto one was okay, but there was so much that was still left unanswered. Uh, but this one, it felt like everything wrapped up a little bit better. There was more resolution, and apparently we did actually take care of the killer, so that feels good. So I guess uh, the different timelines, there's different killers? Question mark? I don't know. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my Mizuki run, Mizuki root run, I should say, and uh, see which route we do next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. Until then, bye. Special thanks to my top tier patrons, Nana, Sparky, Jared Fan, Joel Ostman, Harry Gaziff, Pirate, Pancake G, Asborn Kennedy, and Icognito.